In this video, we'll share the top 17 things to do in Lexington. At number one, we have the Kentucky Horse Park. Set on more than 1,200 acres in the heart of bluegrass country, this park is a haven for equestrians and horse lovers alike. It showcases the history and splendor of the horse with museums, art galleries, and daily equine presentations. It's a chance to get close to the world's finest horses and learn about the roles they've played in human history. At number two, we find the Mary Todd Lincoln House. This historic house is the girlhood home of Mary Todd, the future first lady and wife of President Abraham Lincoln. This dwelling provides a glimpse into the life of Mary Todd before she entered the White House, with authentic furnishings and personal artifacts telling her compelling story. At number three, we have the University of Kentucky Arboretum. This 100-acre public garden provides a peaceful retreat from the city hustle. From native and exotic plant collections to educational exhibits and walking trails, the Arboretum offers a refreshing space to relax, learn, and explore the beauty of Kentucky's flora. At number four is Keeneland Racecourse. Known for its picturesque setting, Keeneland is a premier thoroughbred racing and sales complex. Here you can experience the thrill of the races amidst lush landscapes and architectural beauty that echoes tradition and elegance. It's a window into the heart and soul of Kentucky's celebrated horse culture. At number five, we have the Aviation Museum of Kentucky. This museum, located at the Bluegrass Airport, showcases the rich heritage of aviation in Kentucky. It features an array of aircraft from various eras, a wealth of historical exhibits, and engaging aviation workshops, offering visitors a unique perspective on flight history and technology. At number six, we have the Shaker Village of Pleasant Hill. This living history museum provides an insight into the world of the Shakers, a religious group known for their unique architecture, craftsmanship, and communal living. Exploring the village, you'll wander through restored buildings, farmland, and trails that tell the tale of this bygone society. At number seven is the Lexington Opera House. This historic theater is a jewel in the city's art scene, hosting a range of performances from Broadway shows to concerts and ballet. With its richly decorated interiors, the Opera House promises not just entertainment, but a lavish aesthetic experience that echoes the golden age of theater. At number eight, we find the Headley Whitney Museum. This art and decorative design museum offers a unique collection of jewels, bibelots, and dollhouses. The museum's intricate exhibits, combined with its serene location on a beautiful 13-acre site, provide an intriguing exploration of design and creativity. At number nine is the Kentucky Theater. This historic cinema, located in downtown Lexington, offers a unique movie-going experience. The theater showcases an eclectic mix of films, including art films, independent productions, and classic cinema, all within the charm of its vintage architecture. At number 10, we have the Thoroughbred Center. This is the place to delve into the world of horse training and racing. Through their tours, you can witness thoroughbreds training on the track, visit barns, and even learn the life of a racehorse from birth to retirement. At number 11 is the Hunt Morgan House, a historic house that was home to John Wesley Hunt, Lexington's first millionaire. Adorned with original furnishings, portraits, and antiques, this federal-style house paints a vivid picture of life in early 19th century Kentucky. At number 12, we find McConnell Springs. A natural oasis in the city, McConnell Springs is the site where Lexington was named. It features a variety of nature trails winding through wetlands, woodlands, and historic remnants, allowing you to enjoy the city's natural beauty while soaking up its rich history. At number 13 is the Lexington Distillery District. Once a bustling bourbon distillery, it's now a hip, vibrant neighborhood filled with restaurants, bars, art galleries, and boutique shops. Amidst the preserved 19th-century architecture, you can explore Kentucky's bourbon heritage while enjoying the area's contemporary culinary and art scene. At number 14, we have the Arboretum State Botanical Garden of Kentucky. A 100-acre oasis in the heart of the city, this botanical garden offers a stunning display of native plants, theme gardens, and walking trails, inviting you to engage with nature's beauty while learning about the state's diverse flora. At number 15 is the Raven Run Nature Sanctuary a 734-acre nature preserve located on the Kentucky River Palisades, offering over 10 miles of hiking trails through meadows, woodlands, and along streams. Here, you can appreciate the local wildlife and panoramic views of the river. At number 16, we have the James E. Pepper Distillery. 
A stop on the historic Kentucky Bourbon Trail, this distillery invites you to learn about and taste the famous James E. Pepper whiskey, while exploring the facility and observing the distillation process firsthand. Finally, at number 17 is the Isaac Murphy Memorial Art Garden, the first park in the United States to honor the early African-American jockeys in thoroughbred racing. It's a peaceful, artistic tribute to Isaac Murphy, a legendary jockey, and a testament to the crucial role African-American jockeys played in shaping the sport of horse racing. So that sums up my top 17 things to do in Lexington. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.